Alright guys, Dokkan time. So, I wanted to try and take some of these new 9 easy A's into an event where we could actually see them do good. Now, uh, <laughs> I hate to say it, but I mean, most of these easy A's are pretty mid. And I think Extreme Super Battle Road is really going to show us what they're capable of. Of doing now the units I'm bringing into this are probably not all the ones you want to see but these are both simultaneously some of the ones I know people wanted to see and didn't want to see now I do have this margarita over here maybe I should just swap her out you know what I think I'm gonna do that I'm gonna swap margarita out I kind of don't want to but I, I think I'll throw in the other Whis. Now, I don't have his hidden potential completely filled out, which is why you don't see him rainbowed like the rest of these guys are. Uh, or, well, except for this guy. But he is the Realm of Gods leader. Um, he is not 200%, but he is one of the few Realm of Gods leader we can really utilize for all these units at once. And I'll be real here, with how old this ESBR is, and with how new these all these EZAs are, actually, yeah, every single one of them, and how new this unit is, if I can't no item run this, then it doesn't need to be done. That's just straight up it. So, let's get into it and see how they can do in this different setting. And let's turn off auto battle. <laughs> uh, auto map is fine, though. Alright, here we go. Wow, five enemies, huh? Okay, it's been a hot minute since I did this. So... What we got here, we got the AGL God Goku. He's got actually a couple links, I'm surprised. Uh, we got the new LR Beerus and Whis here. We've got four out of seven links, not too bad. And then we got this Whis. I haven't fully winked, link, winked, linked leveled him, but he's not too bad right now. Um, so here's the interesting thing with Beerus. Oh, wow, is he really already at 200k? Okay, 200k defense on a 170. So his passive is interesting. So he has a medium chance of crit, less than additional attack and defense, high, high chance of fading enemy super attack uh, for seven turns after receiving an attack, but he also can launch an additional super attack if HP is 70% or less when attacking once per turn. So if we throw him in slot one, and we actually lose enough health after we get hit with those first two hits, he could potentially super attack twice automatically. Now, I think I have him primarily built for additional anyways, so it's entirely possible he could triple super. So let's let's see where this goes. Let's see where this goes. I'm interested in seeing what happens here. Uh, he's STR, so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll attack this guy. He doesn't really do much. He does recover HP, so any HP we lose, we can recover right away, at least from the first two hits. Um, let's go ahead and just hit the Devil Man. It's probably a waste to hit him specifically, but that's okay. I just really want to see how powerful these guys can be. Uh, this Whis, now he doesn't look okay that great on paper, but he does, let's see here, Plus an additional attack and defense plus 60% per Realm of Gods category ally attacking in the same turn and Bond of Master and Disciple. Is Goku not Bond of Master and Disciple? No, he is not. I really thought he would have been. That's interesting. Well, good to know. It's part of why I'm floating him off. But let's stack him and... Let's see how well this goes. Watch it, we just get KO'd after one hit. No! Oh my goodness. We took double digits. Okay. And the crit. Double super. Yeah, we're not tripling, but that's pretty nice. Pretty good. Oh boy, here we go. Now we're testing the defense. Wow, yeah, this event is really old. <laughs> we didn't take any damage. I'm not even worried. Oh, we're dodging, man. Ultra Instinct beers and Whis right here. Wow, was I, like, overcompensating? Wow, wow, you couldn't even auto-kill. 
Dude, freaking Whis freaking killed on one hit. What is this Godku even? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this Godku is terrible, man. He's terrible. Wow, he does not link at all. Oh, that's terrible. Okay. So this Beerus right here is actually a unit I was really looking forward to. He's sitting really low right now. But man, once he gets beefed up for the first couple super attacks, he's going to be sitting good. Um... He has attack and defense 150, additional 30, up to 150 with each attack perform. Um, key plus one, launches this little attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack when there's a bond of master and disciple category ally attacking in the same turn, which there is, and all attacks effective against all types. If they're an itty status ailment, basically. Sorry for the on, guys. Um, I don't even need it. I don't want to test it on him. I want to see how much damage he can do, like, right off the bat. Let's see here. He is sitting at only 170k attack and only 88k defense. We still look at this monstrosity. Freaking 200k defense right off the bat. All right. Let's see how well this goes. I'm curious. Oh, whoops. One more. There we go. Ow. That was a lot of damage. But let's get the attack in. 50% buff. 50% buff. Oh, you could have triple supered. We were close. I was really hoping he'd uh, he'd uh, get super attacked. That would have been nice. So that means that he got 100% buff just from supering two times this turn. 100% defense buff that he'll carry over onto the next turn and then onto the third rotation. That's insane. Oh my gosh. The RF blues are so disappointing. They really are. Okay. We're going to just recover all this health right now. Not going to get the super attack off with Whis, but that's okay. He doesn't need to, because I'm pretty sure Beerus is just going to kill right now. Because we're going to... only 6.2, but that's fine. He's 170 right now. We just healed all of our HP back. That's fantastic. We did lower his attack and defense. Yeah, he didn't do nothing. Nothing, man. See, this is the kind of environment that you want to bring these easy A's into. You want to bring them into extreme super battle roads or into just super battle road in general, man. It, it's just the way that they're built, you know? And not every unit in the game is going to be made specifically to just do godly amazingly, you know? It's, it's just not going to be a thing. Okay, so this Whis, I am actually, I love this Whis. I should have gave him a sticker because the sticker effect is really good. Um, but he has all allies, key plus three in attack and defense, 130. Um, just so much buff, so much buff. But I gave him max dodge. He does have extra chance to dodge just from, um, let's see here. Yeah, he has only a 25%, but man, I, I want to see how much he's going to dodge right now. This, I think this is going to be good. I think this is going to be good. Uh, let's hit him just to try and lower his attack. Because he does lower attack, right? Yeah, he lowers attack with his super attack at the least. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So let's see how well this goes. And just go ahead and go with it. Now, this Beers doesn't really do much else, but let's, uh, let's go ahead and hit this guy just because he's going to attack the God Koo. I'm a little worried about the God Koo. This Gaku is just so underwhelming, man. I kn it's good that he greatly stacks attack. But look how pitiful his defense is. It's not even 200k. Like, what even is that? <laughs> dodge. Okay, don't dodge. Okay, don't dodge. Whis, you're an angel. Dodge. Thank you. Lowered attack. Nothing. Love this Whis. Really do. This Whis and this Beerus are actually my favorite. I kind of want to bring them into more difficult content just to see how they'll fare. 
but um, the Weiss will get destroyed. Uh, he just, he will. He could be okay-ish on the right team, but you can't just throw him in there. It's Godku, man. He's okay, but at least he got double digits or something. Okay. So, like I said before, it's entirely possible we have the chance to triple super as long as we hit below 70% attack from in the first slot. So let's go ahead and... Who should we attack? We do lower attack. I think he lowers attack and defense on 18 key? Is it 18 key? No, he doesn't do that at all, actually. He just recovers. The man just recovers health. Okay, never mind. Um. Yeah, it doesn't really matter who we super. It really doesn't. Okay. Um. Yeah. Go ahead, hit Grandpa. Go on. Um. Might as well go for type advantage. We don't have any orb, uh, anything until the RF blues actually transform. So there is that. All right, let's see what happens here. Dodge, okay. <laughs> He's not taking any damage. 6.2, if we lost any health, we'd just gain it right back. 1.8, no crit. It's taking double digits. We're not getting any super attacks on us, though. I'd almost say we're getting lucky. Oh, he stuns. Okay, okay. I forgot he stunned. <laughs> He's at least going to finish off the Master Roshi. I'll, I'll admit, the RF Blues are looking very disappointing by comparison to the rest of these units, aside from when he just uh, crit in the triple super. <laughs> You're not doing any damage or nothing, you know. Okay, so what is Beer sitting at? 177. So he doubled his defense. Now, if we weren't going to kill these guys right now, because that's what we're going to do. We're going to kill them right now. Um, I, I would honestly say, man, he, he'll probably be sitting at, what? He's at 177, another double super. He's going to be sitting at, like, 300k. And then he'll still have his original buff by the next time he came around. And then it would be hitting at like freaking uh, five, six hundred k defense easily. That's pretty crazy. It does take some time for him to ramp up. I'll get, I'll give that. But man, only one super. Well, that sucks. See, that's that's the catcher right there. That Beers absolutely needs to double super. He absolutely needs to double super to capitalize on his super attack effect. Because he has such low defense. This probably isn't even the best team you could rock this uh, these EZAs on. This is just one I threw together to go into Extreme Super Battle Road. So, let's see here. Uh, this Kakoku, I'm afraid to keep him in that first slot. Let's, uh, let's throw Whis in there, man. Let's throw Whis in there and see what happens. He's only at 150. Uh, I don't even have any dodge put into him. But can he dodge? He has a chance to stun. Um, he does get those 60% attack and defense buffs. But other than that, yeah. Yeah, this this Whis is the more disappointing than the other one. Um, I wish I liked him because I like his uh, character art. Let's just throw uh, Beerus in this, this slot again. Why not? Unfortunately, we cannot get his... Uh, yeah, that's a shame. Okay, whatever. Um, who am I worried? I'm worried about Tian a little bit. Might as well. Ow. Okay, watch right now. Watch right now. Triple super. Triple super.
Okay, he didn't triple super, and we didn't- we only healed a little bit. <laughs> I was expecting a little bit more out of that, unfortunately. Yeah, I think the Beerus is okay, um, but I don't think he's amazing. I do like him. I like him a lot, but unfortunately, the Realm of Gods category and Bond of Master and Disciple is just not the most amazing thing ever. It could be better. It could be worse, too. But, um, yeah. Alright, now this is where we'll start cooking for real here. At least I hope. <laughs> Let's just save those STR orbs. Um, yeah, save those STR orbs. Dodge, like the angel that you are. This isn't the last fight, right? We still have one more phase, right? This isn't it, right? I'm kind of going to be a little disappointed if this is literally the last uh, fight in the ESBR. Don't get me wrong, we, we've been doing this for like 16 minutes, I've really been pushing it, but... This has been a casual no-item run, man. This is good for newer players. They're not the most amazing easy A's, but... You know, if they're having struggles getting through some of these fights with uh, not having a, all of the new LRs and such... I mean, these are fantastic units. Alright, we're just we're just gonna mop house with this. We're, like for real. We're just gonna we're gonna clean up. This is it, man. We we won. Oh yeah, no, the dead. Dead. Dodge. Dodge. Wow, he okay. Two out of three dodges, man. He's dodging quite a bit. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to hit this. My mouse might be too small. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I failed epically on that one. Watch, he's still gonna kill them both. 100%. Just with one finger flick. And a giant bomb. <laughs> I, I love this KO animation. I just wish that we could move the KO animation to see the food and everything. <laughs> Underrated KO animation, guys. Underrated. Oh, that was it. That was it. That was the ESBR. Alright, yeah, so I want to do a couple other runs of other, maybe harder ESBRs with some of the other easy A's. But um, I think it's a pretty good explanation of these units are okay easy A's. They're not the broken easy A's that'll, you know, help you out in red zone necessarily. But they're still fun to use in the other bits of content, and I think you'll still find some use for them. But that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching, and if you're new, please like and subscribe and comment your thoughts below. And I hope you all have a good day and a good night.